In this video, we will discuss how to do a static structure analysis of a rear upright. We'll discuss in part one, the geometry, cleaning and preparation. In part two, we shall discuss how different forces can be remotely applied to the upright. We'll also discuss the adaptive meshing tool to obtain an accurate result of stresses. To perform a static structure analysis of a rear upright system, instead of merely uploading the geometry of the upright as shown highlighted, we import into ANSYS space claim the elements connected to the outboard suspension, not only the upright geometry, but also other geometry elements connected to the upright, whether it's the lower A-arms, the upper A-arms, the push rod, or the tiling. All of them are connected by spherical joints to the upright. Our focus is only on the upright geometry. As a first step, clean only the upright geometry. When done, we will transfer all the other elements of the suspension to perform the static structure analysis. I would like to reiterate that we would only perform the analysis on the upright, whereas we will utilize the other elements to create coordinate systems to apply remote forces, create a free body diagram of all the forces acting on the uploader from several elements of the suspension system. Let's go ahead and clean up the upright geometry. Use your right mouse button and hide others. Then we shall go to the repair tab of ANSYS space claim. We shall begin with the stitch. Obviously none found. We'll go to the gaps next. Obviously no areas found there too. Missing phases, none found. Extra edges, there are 14 extra edges. We will click the check mark and it has fixed all the 14 problem areas. Obviously, there are no duplicates. We'll then go to the curve gaps. There are none. Duplicate curves, none. Small curves, none. Small faces. There is one small face. We'll check mark and even that is resolved. We will then go to simplify. There are 38 spline faces. However, these spline faces are very important elements of the upright. So I will not do any repair on that. There are six inexact edges. If I click the check mark, it appears that only five of the inexact edges have been repaired. I could investigate further to repair that last inexact edge. However, the appearance of the upload geometry seems to be fine. If I find issues in the mesh in ANSYS Mechanical, I will return back to Space Claim to address it. I intend to give some vertical G loads and a braking G force at the tire track interaction. For this, I need a line contact at the interface. To do so, I will use the split tool. I'll pick the face that I want to split, then use the cutter point to exactly split it. Now I'm ready to not only transfer a cleaned upright geometry, but also a provision of an edge in the tire to apply the tire forces in ANSYS Mechanical. But before I do that, I'm going to pause and go back to the fundamentals of drawing a free body diagram on the upright. If we restate our goal, our goal is to do a static analysis on just one component. That component is the upright. So if that is the case, we have to do a free body diagram of all the forces that act on the upright. And even remotely, forces that are acting at the tire location are a braking force. And all these forces are scoped to different locations in the upright. So this will all be taken care of when we bring the geometry into ANSYS Mechanic. One of the reasons we bring the rest of the geometry is because we could use these geometries to create coordinate systems and that way we will be able to apply all the forces. Now we have the geometry ready and prepared for static structure analysis. So we are in the project page and we will drag the static structural onto the geometry. This will create a link from the space claim geometry onto the geometry of the static structural analysis cell. The next step is to define the material for the upright geometry. So we shall do so by clicking on the engineering data. By default, you shall see its structural steel. 
However, you can pick one of the materials from the database that ANSYS has. Let's pick the aluminium alloy for the upright material. If you go back to the engineering data sources, you shall see that aluminium alloy is added. You can change the properties. We can also rename it. When done, we can go back to the projects page. We are now ready to enter into the structure analysis by double-clicking on the model. We shall do so in part two of the video.